If you look around, you can see the plastics are everywhere. And in this project, we are going to um, investigate a chemical way of recycling plastics to make again monomers out of it, which can then be again transferred into polymers. So a nice way to avoid landfill and incineration. The Plastics to Olefins project will design, build and run a demonstration plant for recycling of unsorted plastic waste. We're here at Repsol Technology Lab in Madrid, where the global energy company has set up a pilot for a novel plastics recycling process based on high temperature pyrolysis. The plant will be digitalized and run 100% on renewable energy. Repsol is a company that produce different kind of energy. We produce electrical energy and we produce also different kind of fuels. We are also integrated with the petrochemical side and we are producing different materials, like for example, plastic. There's an urgent need for new technologies to turn unsorted plastic and other waste into useful materials that can replace fossil fuels. The heart of the pilot plant is a pyrolysis reactor, but unlike other conventional um, technologies, uh, this is one of the few plants that allows the process to reach high temperature, which is critical to maximize the production of gases. So the process starts uh, right there. Uh, this is where all the feedstock comes into the pilot plant. Everything starts uh, with our receiving the material. We, keep, uh, we receive that in a big box around one ton. And this material is we have to, uh, to transfer into the reactor. And the reactor is where we heat up this material. By heating up the material, uh, we transform the plastic into three different compounds. One solid that uh, it's been carried out out of the reactor, cooled down and stored. Then we have a gas, and this gas has uh, some components that it will uh, condensate out of the solution. There are the three uh, towers where we are going to be uh, condensing. Depending on the temperature you want, uh, the product we will get from each one it will be a different. And uh, this is something that uh, we are going to explore how. Um, to get the more value out of the liquid that we produce. And then we leave our main stream that are the gas, which contains the olefins that are our uh, main object or main target of the, of the process, with uh, other components that is being uh, purified further on, on a third module that will be installed. With the approach plastic to olefins, we are going to obtain final products with an important low carbon footprint reduction and it's quite important to focus this development in the transformation from plastic waste to final plastic with low carbon footprint. I am André. I am the pyrolysis pilot plant operator of the Plastic 2 Olefins project here at Repsol. Being part of a project that could be a great solution to combat uh, climate change makes every day of work and a challenge and an ambition to contribute to a better world for, for tomorrow. Repsol is involved in the development of plastic to olefins because we have a commitment to be net zero emissions by 2050 and we have a commitment to produce circular olefins to the market. Unsorted waste is currently either landfilled or incinerated both producing greenhouse gas emissions instead of recovering the precious carbon inside the materials. Plastic to olefins is an approach for pyrolysis quite interesting because not only allow, allow us to process or valorize plastic waste, this project allows us to produce a final product with an important uh, sustainable footprint. The next milestone is the continuous operation of the pilot plant and this milestone is nearly already taken, so we already nearly achieved the uh, um, operation times which we wanted to have with this pilot plant. And then the next step is the demonstration plant. The final goal is to have an industrial unit integrated with one of our industrial assets with a high quantity of uh, plastic waste in, in the capacity of the unit. Plastic waste are a real environmental problem 
and it is important to find some way to uh, manage these wastes. A plastic toilet project will demonstrate new pathway for waste valorization and reduction of greenhouse gases. Plastics to lefins will have a huge impact on society because it will demonstrate for the first time that the plastics can be chemically recycled through pyrolysis process with the production of lefins from which plastics can be made again. The project partners aim to offer a solution that could benefit not only themselves but other companies as well and ultimately contribute to a greener society. We offer a new technology to the market, not only for Repsol. This technology is going to be licensed to everywhere, so we can offer a new solution for chemical recycling for different qualities of plastic waste. So it's going to be a new technology, very novel, and with an important characteristic regarding a low carbon, low carbon footprint. And this is going to be our contribution to the society, to offer a technical solution for chemical recycling of plastic waste.